Yo, what's going on everybody? F.W. Spielberg in the building. Uh, we finally made it to our first yard crash. And today we are in Warwick, Rhode Island. Did I say that right? Yes, sir. Warwick. Y'all guys say Warwick. Yeah. Warwick. Warwick? Yeah. Warwick. <laughs> Warwick. <laughs> We're in Warwick, Rhode Island, man. We're out here right now. And um, graciously, man, thank you for allowing me to come to the crib. Us. This is Randy Jakes, uh, 401 Bullies. And uh, we got a story to talk about, man. We're going to talk about the story. We're going to yes, talk sir. about a lot of things. And then we're going to see some of these beautiful dogs. We've got three beautiful dogs we're going to see. ABKC Grand Champion, Angry Inks, Larry Hoover. Then we, uh, after we see Larry Hoover, we're going to go check out uh, Fob Thomas's Deja Vu of Pandora. And then we're going to check out, I am excited to see all of these dogs. But this last dog, I got to be honest, I haven't seen this last dog since it was a puppy. And the... Uh, <laughs> when I saw when I saw a puppy, I uh, and I haven't even seen the dog yet, so I'm gonna. So this is gonna be like, oh shit! Uh, but ABKC champion Stefan Don, um, really really excited. You know what I'm saying to see all of these dogs and definitely to see her. Let's start in the beginning. Um, let's 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 just go back real quick about um, breeding dogs and how you got into breeding dogs. I got into breeding dogs through uh, my cousin Nick Donacqua. I came home. You gotta speak up a little bit. I got into breeding dogs uh, through my cousin Nick Dananqua, this level of breeding dogs and uh, going to shows. Um, I came home in like 2012 and I had seen him walking with a dog and I was like, you know, I want a dog as a pet. Yeah. So it started off as I just Oh, he's a pet. pet. I bought a pet. That's yeah. what. And then he said, why don't you come to a show and check it out? I think you'll like it because he knows I've had pit bulls in the, in the past and uh, it took off from there. Yeah, so pet, was the first, was the pet? Was the, the pet is uh, Champ Reggie Noble. He ended up being a champion. So he ended up going champ. He ended up being a champion. My wife champed him out, and uh, it's, he's more her dog than my dog. Yeah. And, uh, but he's a beautiful dog, and, um, and he turned out. Most people a, start out with pets, pet. and they got yeah. pets. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they, yeah. They, I got they, lucky. You know, yeah. He's, very, he's a very nice dog, clean, yeah. correct. How was, nice how, how was the first experience of, of doing, you know, that, that aspect of it, you know, taking it and transferring a pet to a, a show dog. Well, I had no idea. I, I just, I went to my first show in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and uh, I seen one particular dog for the first time, and uh, I had remembered I had tapped him on the shoulder and was like, you know, you're always talking about a vision. Yeah. That's what I like right there, and he had uh, told me that at the time that dog was pretty much like a million dollar dog, a priceless Which dog. Which dog? That was... Um, World Star, Grand Champion World Star. Oh, okay. That was the first dog that made me really like, holy shit, I like, I like this breed. I like how things move and the shows and all that. But it took me probably four, maybe five shows to actually get in the ring. I wouldn't do it. I used to make him show my dogs. Yeah. So I was scared. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. But then he forced me to do it one day and I did well and I fell in love and the rest is history. Wow. So, what's it like actually being a breeder out here in New England? In, in New England, because you said Allentown. Allentown is probably what's well, the closest show. How far is yeah, that? About six, five and a half, six hours. Five and a half, six hours. And so, from from there, you get maybe a couple of sporadic shows. Yeah. You know, UKC is around here. Yeah, I've never uh, been to a UKC. Never been to a show. UKC. My show. dogs have, but I have. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, what is it like breeding? You know, in this region. And this, it's it's competitive. There's a lot of uh, a lot of people. Um, I, I think just in Rhode Island alone, there's at least four or five breeders that I would say definitely have nice dogs, nice yards, and uh, definitely people to watch out for if, you, if you're trying to breed on a, on a competitive level yeah. to where you want to um, show dogs. You know, there's difference. There's, in my opinion, you know, there's there's bullies and then there's show dogs and then right. there's, you know, show bullies. So. Everybody got bullies, but not everybody got show bullies. Yeah, that's one of the things that I still can't grasp, especially when when I'm out here, you know, people's like, oh, you know, we're going to Connecticut. Connecticut's like right, right down, down the road. road. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 45 minutes you can get to Connecticut. So you've got right, like yeah. a, so the region, New England oh, yeah. region is like, yeah. you know, you said Absolutely. Rhode Island, but New England's Just Rhode got... Island. Now, in, now, if you're going up and down the whole New England East yeah. Coast, there's, I know guys at Mass. I know guys in yeah. Connecticut, New Hampshire. There's, there's a lot of people on in on the East Coast that people probably don't think or know about, but they yeah. should probably yeah. definitely worry about it. I what is, uh, as far as out here, not not including your dogs and stuff like that, what do you say uh, some of the famous dogs around here? Like, I, I go to a lot of places and I go and visit, and it's like 
somebody will tell me about these dogs that's around in the area. In this, this area? Dog, oh, this dog is off for this dog. This dog is off for that. And I have no idea who it is, but in that area, they're like a, a hood legend. You know what? Blood. A lot of Waffle House bloodline is, is pretty big around here. Um, you have, uh, you got Nick Tanako, you got Jerome Tulin, you got uh, uh, Joel, you have, uh, who else you have? You have uh, Nick's cousin, Rob. Yeah. This, the, but they have... You know, so there's, there's the, definitely the people that, definitely. yeah, there's definitely people around on the East Coast and definitely around in my area alone yeah. that have tons of nice dogs and good pedigrees and they, they show dogs, they show their dogs and they yeah. do very well and so yeah, I would say it's very competitive around here as far as breeding and showing and training and stuff like that. Yeah, this is is uh is it is it tough? Is it tough to uh to have a vision but have so many good dogs close by? Yeah. And like really go on your own way? Yeah, it, well the transition for me was, wasn't was really that bad because the same plan has been moving in the direction I'm moving from the second I bought my, my foundation bitch. So right. when I bought her, when we're going to talk about it, but when I bought her, I always had a plan. I always knew how I wanted to breed her and now since then between now and then, now I've gained more knowledge on the pedigree right. and the blood and where the traits come from. Yeah. So now, shit, I'm, I'm years down the road with what I want to do. So right. no other dogs are gonna veer me out of the, the, the direction I want to go in. No, none of them. They're it's, very nice dogs. Yeah. They're just not what I want to do. Right. You know, I want to do what I want to do. And so let's just elaborate a little bit more on that. Your vision. Right now, uh, we're getting ready to see. Um, so we'll go through the three dogs before we even show them. Let's go through the three dogs: uh, ABKC, Angry Inks, uh, Grand Champion, Larry Hoover. Yes, bought sir. or bred? He's uh, bought. Okay, bought. Uh, Fab Thomas is Deja Vu off of Pandora. Uh, she's bought. Bought. Lonnie. Lonnie's bred. Lonnie's bred. She's produced. Yes. Okay. So, but okay, that was a, was that a wrong answer. Neighbor. That was a wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the wrong answer. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, damn. Yep. <laughs> and, and. That's uh, that's crazy. So, <laughs> so why <laughs> survey says? <laughs> so um, so why breeding though? Like why 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 breeding now? Is it just like it's the next level? Because the dogs, the dogs I want are too expensive. Okay. The dogs I want are yeah. too expensive. So I mean, why why keep buying them when you can make them yourself? You know. Yeah. And keep it exclusive. So yeah. certain dogs I have with certain bloodlines, I don't mind selling. <laughs> certain dogs I have are not for sale. Right. Certain breedings I'm doing are not for sale to anybody. Yeah. So. Let's just talk about this because a lot of people throw it around. Other people don't throw it around. <coughs> what about investment-wise? What do you feel like right now, if you can give me a roundabout figure, where you're at investment-wise or what you put into this yard? All together oh. with everything, yeah. everything that has to do with a dog, whether um, it be guys. ACL sir, everything. Yeah. Wait, pause, pause. It says broadcast air connection closed by server. Stop recording and broadcast or continue recording? Continue. Okay, I don't think it's broadcasting. Check the live. We're going to hold on. Uh, go to a commercial break real quick while we check the live. Hit continue recording. What up, Bully World? It's your boy, F.W. Spielberg from TSC Yard Crashes. I don't want to give a big shout-out to our sponsors for the TSC Live Yard Crashes, New England Northeast Edition. I want to give a big shout-out to my dude, Danny Guerrero, representing that DBR and the 884 Stables. And also a big shout-out to my girl, Diamond Torch, from Nine Diamond Kennels and Diamond Torch Transporters. And last but not least, my guy, Danny Mr. Second to None Cervantes of Second to None Bullies and R.I.P. Double XL Bullies. We'll see everybody in the New England Northeast area Thursday the 27th all the way to Sunday the 30th August is gonna be lit we're going live in the Northeast New England area crashing some of the baddest yards seeing the baddest bulls and meeting some of the best breeders in the game make sure you follow the FW Spielberg page and go check out the TSC Connected group yard crashes going down Northeast New England we coming are y'all ready let's go Heart been broke so many times, I, I don't know what to believe. Uh, mama say it's my fault, it's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Niggas 
Just I put my heart on nice, heart on nice, cause I can't breathe. I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice, getting the best of me. While in the cell with Lil Joaquin, I thought I slapped him, I had told him I don't know how you get down with them clowns, but I'm a soldier No one could understand, I had way too much aggression That built over the years from my abandoned ass Alright, so um, thank you guys for that pause real quick Sorry, we just want to make sure that we're still live Hopefully we still are, if not <laughs> We're just talking. We're shooting the shit. It's recording, so we'll throw it back up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we were talking about investments, like, totally all around. I would say at least 75000 75000 Yeah. Wow. That's a big number. I, I At least. Yeah. At least. I know. I can. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So, like, so yeah. a lot of people swear up and down that they're going to get this shitload of money. Wow. Uh, I could probably make the money back easily with what I have and what I'm doing, but... Yeah. I'd rather keep the dogs for myself. Yeah, and just okay. fulfill. Yeah, and go to shows. That's that's mine. That's how me and my wife get away. We get the yeah. We get the kids to be watched, and we get away for the weekend and go. I just enjoy yeah. showing the dogs. I I love the dogs. You know? Let's talk about the uh, we talk about the enjoyable part. What about the not so enjoyable part, man? What about the you know the community has it's riddled with a lot of negativity. A lot. Um, and um, you know how do you how do you stay focused in it? How do you not let it? steer you away and, and not like disrupt your vision and you know what what do you what, what do you what do you what do you do about negativity and how do you handle that type of stuff i try to stay away from it as best as i can i don't really comment on too much stuff especially the negative stuff um i have dealt with some negativity um i handled it as best as i could when it was coming and uh, i didn't really go too crazy with it because it just you know it's on, it's social media I yeah. mean, if it's really that serious, then it can be dealt with in person, I think, a little bit better than right. on social media. That's it, how I would like to... It's think. very tough, right? Yeah, social tough, media so. just allows a lot of bickering yeah. back and forth. Yeah. And it's like, you know, when you sit down and you really talk and you listen to each exactly. other... And you're not sitting behind screens and computers... Yeah, exactly. A and lot can audience. happen. And it yeah. doesn't have to be a physical altercation. It just means a lot of times when you're sitting down... You kind of get a perspective yeah, just to absolutely. sit in front of another human being and just to talk yeah it's just like wow you know we really can get through a wasn't lot that of shit. yeah it wasn't yeah. that it wasn't yeah. really that crazy. all worth it you know yeah. what i mean yeah, yeah. so, it, so it with happens. the negative experience what would you what kind of advice would you give uh you know an up-and-comer or just somebody that might be even dealing with it what kind of advice you know in a bad situation that you would just give them i mean it's dogs at the end of the day so how serious really can it be yeah and you know what if you like what you got who gives a fuck what everybody else thinks? Right. Who cares? If, if you don't mind feeding your dog, feeding that dog, and you like what you see eating, yeah. who cares what that dude thinks? Because nine out of ten, his dog ain't, yeah. ain't nothing either. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. who gives a shit, really, yeah. at the end of the day? So, you've had some success in the show ring. You've had success with breeding. Yeah. Um, and how long have you been doing it? Uh, five, four, five years, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about, we gave the advice for the worst situations or bad situations. How about positive? How about you had a great experience with this and you want to hand it over to somebody else? What could you tell somebody, you know, about maybe making a good decision on one of these great dogs that you purchased or the production of Lonnie, you know, how you, you know, produced her and stuff like that? What kind of, what kind of like real good positive advice? Just one gem. I ain't going to try to extract it all, but you know what I'm saying? One, one good gem that you can hand over to somebody. <laughs> Don't truly have hate in your heart on the, on the next man. Yeah. And God will take care of the rest. That's how I. That's how I always approach things. Yeah. Whether I've been in a positive or a negative situation, even the people I don't like in the community, I still wish them the best, and yeah. I hope they get everything they want to get and breed everything they want to breed and win and produce and do all that good stuff. Yeah. Because there is no better feeling than actually taking a dog from a puppy, training it getting it to that level and then if it's physically worthy of that level making it show the best of itself and then you win yeah there's no better fit even even people i don't like i hope they experience it at least once well because it's a great thing it's off
What up, Bully World? It's your boy, F.W. Spielberg from TSC Yard Crashes. I don't want to give a big shout-out to our sponsors for the TSC Live Yard Crashes, New England Northeast Edition. I want to give a big shout-out to my dude, Danny Guerrero, representing that DBR and the 884 Stables. And also a big shout-out to my girl, Diamond Torch, from Nine Diamond Kennels and Diamond Torch Transporters. And last but not least, my guy, Danny Mr. Second to None Cervantes of Second to None Bullies and R.I.P. Double XL Bullies. We'll see everybody in the New England Northeast area Thursday the 27th all the way to Sunday the 30th August is gonna be lit we're going live in the Northeast New England area crashing some of the baddest yards seeing the baddest bulls and meeting some of the best breeders in the game make sure you follow the FW Spielberg page and go check out the TSC Connected group yard crashes going down Northeast New England we coming are y'all ready let's go Heart been broke so many times, I, I don't know what to believe. <laughs> All right, so thank you. Uh, we just had to go to a commercial break, and what we're having is some <coughs> some technical difficulties, but uh, we're gonna roll through it because the Wi-Fi is just going in and out, so we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. Um, so we were just talking about show training and stuff like that. When do you start show training your dogs, and what kind of process do, do they go through? And really, how do you know which one to to pick, start training, and, and keep going? Well, if you're whelping the litter, you kind of, I mean, with certain, you know, certain breedings you're doing, like the, the one I'm about to do, nothing's really leaving, so I'm looking at everything. So yeah. I'm looking at, you know, who's who's got the most confidence, who's got the best rear, the shortest back, stuff like that, you know what I mean, the best yeah. puzzle. And then uh, as soon as they're up and at them, four or five weeks, they're on the stack dogs. And then as soon as they can be leashed, you start walking them on the leash. Yeah. How I've always done it, I take them on little 15, 20 minute walks. The first little bit of the walk is for them to do their business. The middle of the walk is to work. The last bit of the walk is to, for them to just do whatever they want to do. And that's like an everyday thing. Yeah, so like Every 15 minutes, walk. just yeah. get them in their regiment so yeah, they start yeah, you being, wanna, you know. You don't want to put too much on them because then they, then they don't, you want them to enjoy it and like it. If they yeah. don't like it and enjoy it, they're not gonna, they're not yeah. gonna want to do it. Yeah, so. do you do the baiting or no? Um, at first, just to get them, and then I make them earn it, and then um, I try to not use anything in the ring. But some dogs are fussier than others, and yeah. you know I notice the females kind of like to be baited. The males, you can kind of get them to have enough confidence to do it without it. So, how many litters have you whelped? Me personally, uh, three. Three so far? Yeah, I haven't done a breeding. I've tried to do a few breedings that didn't take, but yeah. um, I haven't done a breeding in over a year. The last okay. breeding I did was. Uh, that the one that produced Lottie. Oh, okay. So. How does it feel, man? You know, you're breeding these dogs. You're, you're, you know, <laughs> do you get attached to them? Oh, like, yeah. you know, doing yeah, the process, family. and then you're like, oh shit, you know, like they're getting ready to leave. I mean, I know, I know, having family too, kids. Yeah. You know, the kids are getting, you kids know, get very attached wife, to them. The, the wife, wife. The wife <laughs> gets very attached. Uh, the the last litter that I had was a uh, Samson. You know, a Samson litter. They stayed a little long because some of the dogs went overseas. Yeah. And uh, COVID messed things up. So. uh it was tough to see him go, it, yeah. you, know, you know, and some of them turned out to be a little nice. Wait, you had a litter during COVID? Yeah, yeah, uh, the, the litter was born January 7th. So January 7th, COVID really like hit, March. hit, hit hard in March, right. Weeks. So that was right when it was time for them to get out of here. And I was stuck with a bunch of puppies. Stuck with a bunch of pups. Sold Seven months and old. going to Ecuador and going to South yeah. Africa and going here and going there. And, uh, you know, the buyers wanted the dogs. So yeah. as a breeder and, you know, I love the dogs, so I kept them and I held on to them for the buyers until they were ready to go. Yeah. One just left, I don't know, not even two weeks ago, and they're like seven months old. Wow. Yeah, wow. I hung on to the dogs. That's called, that's commitment. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, it's sad it's too, because you know, I know that was like, that was a bill. That, yeah. Did you ever, did you like have Not a, really, I didn't really, I just charged I them for the food of the dog. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. No, just feed the dog, man. Yeah, 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 just take care uh, of the dog. And I, I, we trained the dog on a leash for oh, good. Him and so they came the better off than they was going to have Oh, yeah, yeah, they made up. They better thank COVID. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got hooked up. They got that, some yeah. show dogs Absolutely. ready for show. Free trained dogs. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. Well, I want to, you know, I, I know the people are tuned in to look at some dogs. I just wanted to give you, you know, um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the stages, you know what I'm saying, that you went through, the early stages and uh, introduction to the game and, and shit like that, man. But now it's time to see some dogs, man. Now it's time to see some dogs. Now it's time to see some dogs. Folks, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a commercial break real quick and get set up. Uh, the first one we're going to bring out is ABKC Grand Champion, Angry Inks, Larry Hoover. And uh, this guy, I saw the stack, 
the side yeah. stacks. I saw the front stacks. Uh, I'm ready to see some movement. That's a nice bunch. And um, uh, I know too that you did mention some things with the coat and stuff. There's a little bit, of, you know, yeah, heat I got stuff like that. And heat some, and yeah, allergy, I, yeah, I just went to that with my dog and stuff like yeah. that. So. Um, I appreciate you even bringing them out with those little bit of things because, yeah. you know, at this point, uh, we're here and uh, ain't nothing to hide as long as we, you know, clarity. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, folks, we'll be right back in a minute. We're going to run in, grab the dog, and we're going to get everything set up, and we're going to introduce you guys, ABKC, Grand Champion, Angry Inks, Larry Hoover. We'll be right back in a few minutes. What up, Bully World? It's your boy, F.W. Spielberg from TSC Yard Crashes. I don't want to give a big shout-out to our sponsors for the TSC Live Yard Crashes, New England Northeast Edition. I want to give a big shout-out to my dude, Danny Guerrero, representing that DBR and the 884 Stables. And also a big shout-out to my girl, Diamond Torch, from Nine Diamond Kennels and Diamond Torch Transporters. And last but not least, my guy, Danny Mr. Second to None Cervantes of Second to None Bullies and R.I.P. Double XL Bullies. We'll see everybody in the New England Northeast area Thursday the 27th all the way to Sunday the 30th August is gonna be lit we're going live in the Northeast New England area crashing some of the baddest yards seeing the baddest bulls and meeting some of the best breeders in the game make sure you follow the FW Spielberg page and go check out the TSC Connected group yard crashes going down Northeast New England we coming are y'all ready let's go Heart been broke so many times, I, I don't know what to believe. Uh, mama say it's my fault, it's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Think it's best I put my heart on nice, heart on nice, cause I can't breathe. I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice, it's getting the best of me. While in the cell with Lil' Joaquin, after I slapped him, I had told him, I don't know how you get down with them clowns, but I'm a soldier. No one could understand, I had way too much aggression that built over the years from my abandoned ass. Get down. All right. Hold the ball over there. All right, we're live. Over here, Larry. We are live. All right, so we got... ABKC Grand Champion, Angry Inks, Larry Hoover, ready to stack up. How's he looking right now? I gotta check with my girl. He's looking He's good. Up the females good. in heat. Oh, so you got females in heat right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Well, I got my props here. <laughs> I got my props here because a lot of people always talk and they always say this and say that. First, let me allow, allow me to introduce my good buddy here. The Wicked. The Wicked. This is. This is the wicked. Now, a lot of people, I want to explain something to people. A lot of people don't know how to read the wicked. Especially, this is not a true wicked. The bottom. This, this the is bottom. A, this and is you a, got two um, inches down there. Yeah, no, you don't have two inches. No. You got one inch. This is, this is how you read it, okay? Now, look, I'm going to show everybody this. You see where the top is? You see how it's zero? The reason why is because there's zero clearance from the floor up. Now, if you move this, if we had something that was an inch, and we move it up an inch, and it was an inch tall, the top of it would be right there, and whatever is an inch tall is right here. So everybody gets into a frenzy over how to read this, and you add this and you add that. You don't add nothing, you just read the top line, because this is an inch clearance here, and that's why you read the top. So that's how we're doing it. So I know a lot of people like to say that this is what it is you add this no you don't you don't need to add it when this thing is flat on the ground it's zero right that's just how it is if you guys are building houses don't invite me over to it <laughs> and you don't know how to read this thing because <laughs> i ain't coming in your raggedy ass house that's all off kilter yeah right so we're gonna put this on him so wicked wise what, what was you told last time he was wicked and he was like a fraction on the 17. really but yeah okay. he was like 14 months then Okay, he's so like, let's side stack them like real quick, now. and let's get them. Our wither area is right here, the withers. We can stack front, front, uh, front stack them. Front, front stack them? Yeah, that one, yeah. How we doing? We getting a good visual of them? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So we've got our wicket here on the ground, and we've got his, right over his withers. I'm going to put this right down on him. Boom. And I'm locking it, it's clear, it's everything, he's stacked, and everything, and he is a fraction <laughs> over 17 is inches. He? All right. So he's he a grew. fraction. Now, but listen though, he might have grew, 
He might have a swollen paw. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but he's just a smidgen. Literally a smidgen. Now, you guys just saw that. I'm not a judge, so I could be wrong. Um, but I brought this out, and, and we can you know we can do it again. We'll he cha he right. champed uh, as he a standard. That standard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He champed up uh, right. uh, 11 months old. Okay, so we're so good. it don't really matter. Yeah, we're so we're good. good. We're good. But but that's where that's where he was at, stacked up, right there, the weather area, man. So we got that covered, man. So he just yeah, he's just, just a second you know. But then again, go do it. Go a real judge. Go do it. Go do it with a real judge. He's Derek Dennis. <laughs> yeah, Derek, yeah, Derek, look at, Derek is a, a matter of fact, Derek Dennis, when you get a chance, hit me up, because if I'm fucking up, I need to know. <laughs> um, so, we're going to measure his head real quick. Yeah, go ahead. He's cool with measuring his head? Absolutely. All right, so here we go. Now, I don't know if y'all saw my measurement on my head. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty piss poor, man. That was pretty piss poor. But here we go. We're going to take um, his headpiece, and I got this like this. We're going to get the widest part <laughs> that we can possibly cheeks. get over the cheeks. We're going to tighten it up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I got 32 inch head. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, good boy. Good boy. You got to deal with Uncle Steve. <laughs> All right, so here we go. He's, he's, he's being a little... <laughs> He's like, fuck your tape. But he don't show no more. He's retired. He don't show? Nah, I haven't trained him. Okay, probably. so we got it in front of his ears. And, um... Good boy. Yay. Yeah. Good boy. So we got him. We got him there. What do you think? Is that good? He got about 23 on that boy. Yeah. There we go, man. So I got him locked in right now. And it was right at 23. Good boy. Right at 23. He is tall. Right at 23. So, yeah, yeah. His head is bigger. Now, there's something that I want to just test, man, because uh, I, I see, like, the barrel of this dog. And, yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah. Been and really he's thick. pretty he's pretty thick. So this isn't nothing official or nothing like that. Like, uh, But I just want to put him, you know, like, the, the, this is my version of the bully barrel right here. You know what I'm saying? So I got it tight. And this guy right here, he can fit your jeans. Yeah. 31. Is wow. You're about a 32? 33. You're a 33? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you, you know, if you jog a little bit. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. If you jog a little I bit. I would be a 32. Or if he eats a little, a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. We'll fit his jeans. But right here, around that area right there, I call that the bully barrel, man. We're at 31 he's inches on him, man. Yeah, he's a thick boy. Yeah, he's a very, very thick boy. I saw that when he came out. But the yeah. next thing I wanted to do was the bone on him. Bone. The bone on him. So, All right. let's check the bone on him a little bit. And I'm just going to go up here to, like, right around this area. And I really appreciate, oh, Larry Hoover letting me get all in his Remember business. Being, uh... Like that. So, I got that tightened around that area right there. That's probably right, right around under his armpit a little bit. And oh we're about eight and a half inches right there. Big so, boy. if I go... To eight and a half inches. That's about the size of of a, of a can soda. Yeah, of a can soda. So if you guys go and look at your can sodas, that's how you can see right here, man, about where his bone struck. You know, about how thick his bone is, right up under his uh, his underarm area, man. So I just want to give you guys some visuals, man. Of if you're what Red Bull, if you're Red Bull, you're classic. Yeah. <laughs> he's got he's got some clearance under there too. He's not too low. Not yeah. too crazy, look. But, um, but that's cool, man. All right, so listen, we're going to try to check out some of his movement, man. Yeah, he moves good. Yeah, we're going to check good. out his movement. You want to do it out there? Yeah, we're going to do it out there. Um, Just pick it up. We'll just go out there and okay. do it live, man. Come on, Larry. Let me see him over And I got some questions about Larry. Larry. When we, uh, when we do it. Huh? You going to take it out there? Yeah. All right. Larry's the dog that put me on the map. All right, so we're going to bring him out, bring him on out here. All right, so let's see his movement real quick, man. Um, and he's had an ACL surgery. Oh, he had a little ACL surgery? Now, moves, Larry, moves, Larry is currently retired, but he is open for stud, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's get him. Oh, I thought she was going to be.
Stop. 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 Still moving. He still got it. He's still moving. How old is Larry again? Uh, he just turned three. Three years old. Yep. Why, why'd you retire him so early? He had a really bad experience with the ACL and he just bad never recovery. healed right. Oh, really? Yeah, it never healed right. Okay, well that, that kills a bunch of my questions because I yeah. was like, what about the, uh, what are we doing after Grand Champion? It was yeah. He, he's, he's won some breeds. He's won some best in breeds. Yeah. Um, he went up again. Uh, some really nice dogs for best in show and all that. He came up a little short, but he was a baby then. Yeah, 10 months. Um, yeah, he was 10 months when that happened. But 10 months he was smacking best in breed. That ACL uh, didn't happen. He would have definitely did some more damage. What was it like during his championship, uh, grand champion run to become? It was, it was the best. Was he, was he, you know, was he hitting? He was winning. He yeah. was winning. He, was, he, he didn't do good his first show. Yeah. I came up a little short. I think I took like two firsts. A second and a third. Yeah. No majors. Got reserve, reserve. He got beat by other uh, other half brothers, pretty much, because he's yeah. a Waffle House uh, son. And then um, we went to a show in North Carolina, and uh, the first show, I bombed. I bombed. Yeah. I got nervous. I wasn't stacking them right. It was like my second or third show, even showing a dog. And then uh, uh -huh. the first, then the third, fourth, the second, third, and fourth show. He got first place, best male, best standard. He went up to three twice. Yeah, he smashed it. And uh, best of winners. Best yeah, of winners. He, he won. He won. He smacked everything. He did really well. And that's when I knew that all right, I got a dog that I can do something with, yeah. and I can start showing it. What, what dog was out there at the time that you was like nervous about? And then when you won, you were like, "Wow!" Jaws. Yeah. Uh, uh, grand champion. You know, he's a grand champion now. Jaws. Um, uh, shots fired. Grand champion. Shots fired. Was like uh, tiny. Um, blue, great champion blue. Uh, a lot of dogs that go to Allentown, you know. Uh, the bear was always there. So, you know, I, I knew I couldn't compete with them guys, but I would do as best as I could, and then I would walk. Mm -hmm. Try to learn from them, the handlers, the dogs, what the judges are picking. So that's how I started based on what I'm going to do and what I know that people will like and what they want. Who was the judge that gave you your final champion win? You remember that? Yes, I do. Uh, it was, was uh, like in Harvey. Atlanta. It was Atlanta, it, but it was, it was Atlanta, Atlanta, but it was a controversy type thing. It was oh. actually, um, it was actually he got reserved, and another dog got the champion win. They gave it to him, so he ended up going to a show after that, and they were like, you know, he would, pretty much he would have did it anyways. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So. How did that, how did that, he, uh, how did that, like, how did that, did it, did it, did it pamper kinda, the win? It did, it did. It pamper it the win? Yeah, because I came home one day, wasn't expecting nothing in the mail, I had something in the mail, I opened it, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like how the hell is that? I said, how the fuck Yeah, I was meeting him at a photo <laughs> shoot. How the fuck did you get that? I said, dude, look what the fuck is in the mail, and then, you know, so. Wow. Very, very interesting. Yeah, so, is he uh, open for stud or no? We're doing yeah, that. no, he's open for stud, yep, he's been bred um, twice, and... He's just produced, yeah, he he uh, he just was bred uh, last week. He's produced some dogs that look just like him. He's produced a few dogs that are even better than him. Mm -hmm. He's um, he's throwing his brother. He's throwing his brother, and his brother's throwing him. Nice, you know. So he's got a perfect scissor bite. Cat, he's got some things that you know are not you know the most. I would put more rare on him. Mm -hmm. A little bit better of a top line, more angulation. But you put that on him. Build yeah, he'd be he'd be a bad boy, you know. So his rare was better though before he did his ACL. Yeah, he had a better looking rare than that, but he doesn't really. I don't take him running no more. I used to take him running. I yeah, his, his regimen changed. Yeah, he's, he's done. Retired. Yeah, he sits on the. Doesn't mean he still can't produce it. But no, just, yeah, just, yeah. You know, like he's just retired. Yeah, he's out of shape. He's he looks nothing like, like me. When I retired, look yeah. at me now, you know. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen, we're gonna bring out Bob Thomas's. Deja, Deja Vu, Vu champion, off champion. Pandora, yes, that's off Pandora, dual champion. Folks, we're going to be right back. Commercial break. We're going to bring out ABKC. What's the other registry? Uh, She's BBCR, um, BBCR pocket champion, ABKC pocket champion, and she's pointed in uh, BRC. BRC. We're going to bring her out. Her name is Bob Thomas's Deja Vu of Pandora. We'll be right back in the commercial break. Just hold on tight, folks. We got more dogs to show you, man. TSC Live, Yard Crashes, New England.
What up, Bully World? It's your boy, F.W. Spielberg from TSC Yard Crashes. I don't want to give a big shout-out to our sponsors for the TSC Live Yard Crashes, New England Northeast Edition. I want to give a big shout-out to my dude, Danny Guerrero, representing that DBR and the 884 Stables. And also a big shout-out to my girl, Diamond Torch, from Nine Diamond Kennels and Diamond Torch Transporters. And last but not least, my guy, Danny Mr. Second to None Cervantes of Second to None Bullies and R.I.P. Double XL Bullies. We'll see everybody in the New England Northeast area Thursday the 27th all the way to Sunday the 30th August is gonna be lit we're going live in the Northeast New England area crashing some of the baddest yards seeing the baddest bulls and meeting some of the best breeders in the game make sure you follow the FW Spielberg page and go check out the TSC Connected group yard crashes going down Northeast New England we coming are y'all ready let's go All right, we are back in the building again, man. I told you we're gonna bring on some more dogs, man. So here she is right here, man. Fob, Fob Thomas's uh, Deja Vu off Pandora. Let's talk about her story real quick, man, before we start throwing the props on her. There's a lot of history behind this dog. Um, I was supposed to buy a dog off another litter, um, off of uh, Grand Champion World Star, and I was actually gonna purchase a male. Mm -hmm. Now this is when I really didn't understand the game yeah. the way I do now. So, uh, unfortunately, a, a male in the slot that I was supposed to pick wasn't born. That's it a bad enough. bitch. I yeah, just need to tell you that. Yeah, she's This bitch special. is bad. I'm yeah, here looking rare, at her. Yeah, her. Oh, my God. She's, she's something spectacular. Yeah. Bring her over here. And, and her People drive is ridiculous. So. Yeah. So, so, you, so you ended up getting her. So I reached out to, you know, and now this is at the time I didn't even know Ken Thomas was owner and you know, pot yeah. owner and a producer of uh, World Star. So somebody had told me, oh, if you're looking for that blood, you might want to check this dude out. Right. So I, I hit him up and um, he had Deja for sale at three and a half months old. You know, so when I bought her, I bought her with a breeding. So it was pretty much like it was offered to me as, as I was buying into his kennel. Right. Into his program. Right. I didn't have anything on my own. I wasn't affiliated with anybody. Right. So I was, you know, in my eyes, I was, you know, linking up you know yeah. so that's how that went so then um she was offered to me on a deal with a uh, breeding to her so i i bought her bought the so, breeding so the so the breeding. dog was sold with a, a breeding yes attached yes and the breeding was to was to a male that hadn't been produced yet oh the, a, it was a breeding that was about to take place and the male from that was supposed to go to her oh okay that male didn't turn out to be something that we wanted to put to her okay so we didn't end up on it Okay. So, um, and so how many times has she been bred? She's only been bred once, but uh, she's probably getting her surgical on Monday or Tuesday for okay. her second breeder. So last time she had a litter was over a year ago. <laughs> and who is she being bred to this time? She's being bred to this time uh, Champion Razor's Edge uh, Demon Boy. Demon Boy? Yeah. Yep. The Demon Boy. The Demon Boy. And who is Demon Boy in her pedigree? Demon Boy in her pedigree is her grandfather. Her grandfather. Yeah, cause she's, and so she's a world star daughter? She's a world star daughter. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for breaking that down because yes. we didn't even break down Larry Hoover that much. No, yeah, we um, didn't. My apologies to the people. If you guys Hoover. have any questions. Hoover Larry Hoover. Or, yeah, or uh, Larry. Or Larry. Or, or Larry. Larry. Well, if you have any inquiries Deja. about Larry, though, definitely reach out to Randy. Absolutely. Or Nick. Because uh, Nick, Nick can produce the dog, right? Nick produced the dog, yeah. yes. Um, so, Deja. folks, I know you see what I see, okay? Um, this bitch is bad. <laughs> uh, definitely um, a f badass bitch, man. Yeah, she's, she's her movement. When you when, rare, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. When we bring her out there, you'll see. Yeah, she yeah. floats. She's, yeah. she's, she's de different. Yeah. She's different. She's not the bulliest dog. No. But she beats she's the got, Look at the dog. muscle on her. Look she's at the ridiculous. muscle. Yeah. She's look at jacked. the look at the look at how compact she is. Yeah, she's look at ridiculous. the rear. The rear's insane. It's just And she drives off that rear the way she's supposed to. Yeah. And she's got the cat. She's very, very nice, nice man. Let's yes. put her on our uh let's put her, put her on skates. Spielberg's wicked. Nope, Spielberg's oh, you wanna wicked. Wick it up. <laughs> we gotta we gotta <laughs> put it out there. Because she could be she could be a micro. I don't know. She could be. If I if I measure her correctly, she could be a micro. I don't know. Come on, girl. Stack her up real quick and let's put this thing on her. You're adding on fractions here. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay, Mama. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. 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 Good girl.
Yeah, it's okay. She fucking help her out. That she's leaning. Yeah, she's leaning. She's, 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 not, she's just a little like, what the hell is okay, that? Mama. Yeah, she's, yeah, this it's is, okay. this is okay, good. girl. Good girl. She's get away from me. It's okay, okay girl. girl. Good girl. No, it's okay. Good girl. It's okay. Okay, so what was you told? I never had her wicked. You never had her wicked? No, because, um... I got her at 14 inches. Exactly 14 inches. Nice. Exactly 14 inches. Okay, Mama. Um, believe I did it right. Again, Derek Dennis hit me up if you see something wrong. But we're getting a roundabout figure, so I know that this will probably either get me hated She'll attack that thing. or love. Oh, she will? Yeah. Not, not you, you, that thing. You didn't tell me no, that. No, she don't like shovels and, and oh. she's, she's well, a little Well, you were supposed to tell me that. I didn't, think, I didn't think she was gonna, but then Spielberg I started seeing his arm sizing it up a little bit. Like, she wanted it. I forgot to tell you. The one thing um, I wish now, what about this? Is she going to be okay with this? Yeah, we can figure it out. All right, so here we go. It's the only thing I wish she had. Anytime she starts More getting touched, head. she says she has. She's got a beautiful head structure. She throws the head, dog. Yeah, she so, throws the head, yeah. yeah. She throws the dog. She throws the dog. Get into that, dog. Oh, the pretty. All right. Look at your lipstick. Hey, mama. Oh, it's okay. Good girl. Okay. It's okay. Good girl, good girl, thank you. Good girl. Good girl, mama. So nice, so nice. Good girl, mama. All right, so we got it under there. We got it around her cheek. I uh, got it as tight as I can. And we are sitting at roughly 20 inches. Not bad. 20 not inches. Bad not bad. And I hope that I'm doing everything right. I but like so. I said, if, I anybody, if anybody calls me on it, Oh I'm gonna erase the footage. <laughs> <laughs> let's get her up under her. Uh, let's just check her bone out real quick and see what if we can get a measurement on her bone, real quick. There we go. Good girl, mama. Good girl. All right, got the bone. Oh, the bone moved a little bit. She a carrot can? No. <laughs> See, my thing is, oh Lord. oh, Lord. She broke it. She broke it. She busted it. Oh, no, she didn't. All right, here we go. I'm going to put the, put the bone gauge on her, or AKA the truth meter. There we go. So I got it right up under her underarm. Yes, sir. Got it nice and tight. Whoa. Wow, she's, she's got some bones. Piece. Yeah, she's an eight piece. Huh? She's almost, she's right there at eight. Wow, she's right there at eight. Larry. Yeah, I think she's a lot right of there at eight. Larry. That could be a lot of muscle. Yeah, she, yeah. her shoulders yeah. are ridiculous. She's definitely got the girth, man. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's nice. That's oh, really nice. Let's go on a female, man. Yeah, thank you. That's really good, folks. We're gonna go on out. We're gonna get Vicky up off the ground, and we're gonna go see some movement, man. We're gonna see. This girl skate on some ice, man. So come on with us real quick. Oh, and ice. Join us, man. Get a little shaky. Oh, sorry, guys. There you go. Somebody broke their neck, man. You broke your neck? Get your neck right, man. Get your neck right. Here we go, man. We're going to go out here and check him out. Check her out. Look at what we have here. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, she's mean, bro. That girl, that girl flows. Give me one more down and back. Give me one more down and back, man. Make sure you're getting that rear. Deja, come here, girl. Come here, girl. Bring her straight to the camera. There you go. Oh, man. That is Deja Vu. Pandora. Pandora. There you go. Stack her up. Let the let the folks see what it is, man. Let the folks see what it is. We've got something nice here, baby. Yeah, it's my baby. Yes. How old is she? She's a little over three. Over three years Actually, old. she'll be three and I'm So she's a little sorry. champion. What's the future for her now? Is the show ring? Are we still showing? Or? Um, I'm going to breed her uh, two more times. Right now to Deja, and, I mean uh, to Demon Boy, and then um, I'm gonna probably try to finish her off in the BRC. Yeah. She'll be a triple champion, and then she'll 
She'll have one more breed and then she'll live the rest of her days on my couch. After that, another that's plan it. for her. That's my foundation, and, and, and everything. One more breeding, is that way out? Did you have a, a future? I have the stud that I'm gonna take to her for her third and final breeding and that'll probably her. She'll skip a heat after this, yeah. after she whelps this litter and uh, I'll skip a heat and then I'll breed her out of that and then she'll be retired and done. And that'll be that. Quick question. Pups off of Demon Boy to her. What are we looking at price wise? What would you what would you think? Twenty? Or is it You gotta woo me. You gotta woo me? I'd rather keep it. Yeah. I mean, cause I know what's gonna come out of it. Yeah. And I, you're gonna and see what's, uh, what you're gonna see what the combination does in a, in a short minute. Right. So how do you put a price on it? Right, right, right. Don't ask me. How about ask yourself? That's what I would say to somebody. You see the dog, you see the product. Yeah. You see what people are paying them numbers for, for right. stuff that ain't even coming close to that. Right, right. So I mean, either you, I'm not even gonna put a price on. I like people making off of yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And if it's something, if, sure. I was offered big, big money for, for Lonnie and uh, I turned it down. It was yeah. never even a thought in my head because I know what I got. Right. So why so, sell it? So as far as her, no, nah, yeah, she'll, these dogs will live and die, especially Lonnie and her. They'll it's not live a price. It. No, there's no money. No rap. No, there's Hoover, no amount. Hoover, no rap. Who, no, Hoover, he put me on the map. Yeah, no, no he, he put me on the map, even though he's not a dog that I have in my plans to breed to these dogs, yeah. because that, you know, there's other people out there kind of putting them bloodlines together. Yeah. So I want to just kind of do my own thing with it and have my own version of it. So, uh, but Larry will live and die, yeah, too. That's what's up. All right, folks, we're going to go to one more commercial break. The next one up is our final dog, ABKC oh, champion, Steflon Don, is about to come out. I'm excited to see her. I haven't seen this dog since she was a pup. I've seen pictures, I've seen videos, I've seen her do her thing in the show ring, and now it's time for you and me to check out ABKC champion, Steflon Don. We'll be right back in a few minutes, TSC Live, Yard Crashes, New England Edition. What up, Bully World? It's your boy, F.W. Spielberg from TSC Yard Crashes. I don't want to give a big shout-out to our sponsors for the TSC Live Yard Crashes, New England Northeast Edition. I want to give a big shout-out to my dude, Danny Guerrero, representing that DBR and the 884 Stables. And also a big shout-out to my girl, Diamond Torch, from Nine Diamond Kennels and Diamond Torch Transporters. And last but not least, my guy, Danny Mr. Second to None Cervantes of Second to None Bullies and R.I.P. Double XL Bullies. We'll see everybody in the New England Northeast area Thursday the 27th all the way to Sunday the 30th August is gonna be lit we're going live in the Northeast New England area crashing some of the baddest yards seeing the baddest bulls and meeting some of the best breeders in the game make sure you follow the FW Spielberg page and go check out the TSC Connected group yard crashes going down Northeast New England we coming are y'all ready let's go hard been broke so many times Mama say it's my fault, it's my fault I wear my heart on my sleeve Think it's best I put my heart on nice, heart on nice Cause I can't breathe I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice It's getting the best of me while in the cell with Lil' Joaquin, after I slapped him, I had told him I don't know how you get down with them clowns, but I'm a soldier No one could understand Yeah, man. Um, so we've got Lonnie, and boy, 
What in the bear cub is going on here? Dude, I don't know. She's a freak. What grizzly broke in your house? I don't know. World star. Look. Yeah. World star back yeah. to his daughter. Back to her. World star back to his daughter. Yep. Me and uh. Wow. When I bought Deja, you know, we we had that breeding that we were gonna do. Me and Ken Thomas. And, yeah. Uh, that male didn't turn out to to be what we wanted it to be. So uh, I had a couple of options, and World Style was one of them. Uh -huh. So uh, we did the breeding. We produced four amazing females. So World Star back to his back daughter. Back to his daughter, who's also five times masterpiece boss bitch in the back. And this so, is all we got. And this is what we got. And what it, what it, how old? She just turned 14 months. 14 months old. <laughs> She got some fire in it too. The red, the, it's just the complete package. The feet, I can I couldn't ask for a better dog. The tail, everything, everything is just where it needs to be. It's, look at the thickness, the girth, the, the red. Come here, baby. Yeah, yo. The feet, the pattern, the pattern. She's just. Yeah. If I had to complain about one thing, which I really don't even care, I would maybe put a little bit of a better stop on, on, on her. Oh head. yeah. Yeah. Oh, but man. That's that would be nitpicking. Too. Yeah, yeah. That would be nitpicking because everything else is spot on. Two. Oh. <laughs> oh no, no. Well, excuse she me. Won't, she won't. She's well, just. Well, excuse she me. Just, she's she's very, very, she's yeah. very. She's very verbal. She's very verbal? Yeah, she's very verbal. Well, I just hope she's not very physical. No, she's not physical. Okay, she's good. never. She's never been anybody. Yeah, you're a champion, man. You gotta yeah. act like that. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, you know what? The judges actually like. She growled at a few judges. Yeah. And that's all she did, and they were like, "You gotta yeah. have a little fire." It didn't, yeah, yeah. It didn't stop. Uh, hold her back in the ring. She is so thick. She is so compact. Very compact. She is. Mama. She's a very pretty dog. She too. is freaking incredible. She is. She is incredible. I got very lucky. Um. Littermate wise. Where's the litter Um, There was four females. Um, there's two left. Okay. Um, two of them passed away, unfortunately. Yeah. And uh, there's her and her sister, the ones that I kept. Oh, okay. And uh, I placed one out. Yeah, yeah. That's still on. She looks just like World Star. Yeah. She's her with a better head and muscle. Actually. Really? Yeah. Um, but she's a pet. You know, pet. she's a pet. She won't They're ever. They're not going to breed? Not gonna breed her, not gonna, you know, really? that was it. Yeah, I gave What does I, that feel like, man? Like, you know that you have something, you said it better than I should have probably kept the dog, yeah. but I didn't, and um, I have her, so, and I have the mom, and I have the demon boy, Deja Breed. Yeah, yeah, that's going down. I mean, I feel that I'll replace that. This dog is, this she's dog, insane. She's this insane. dog is, uh, I don't care who owns this dog. Yeah. It could be my worst enemy, that owns this dog. Lonnie. Lonnie. Here we go. We're going to put Lonnie on the wicket. Yeah, this looks pretty what are we thinking here? Hey. Can you uh, stop? 14. We're thinking 14. I can leave it maybe at 14. Good yeah, stuff. I think so. Yeah. She might be a little right. like, what is this? But. Yeah. Lonnie. Give me that ball. Yeah. Huh? I kite it. There you go. She's shorter than 14. 13, I say. Oh, 13? I say All right, 13. I'm not going to be down there doing she it just for you. I tell you, I'm not going to be down there. She's a little shorter there. than her mother. <laughs> There's just too many people She's around. She's choking up. I'm, 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 I'm going to try, I'm gonna try 13 and a half <laughs> and see where we're at. Stack her up real quick and then... Um, <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna call it at thirteen and a half. I'm gonna say thirteen. To three I'm gonna say thirteen to three. I ain't Stop doing it. a fucking head. <laughs> you wanna do her head? I'm trying to do her head. Yeah, well, her head is. I wanna know what. My insurance does not cover it. We can try. Uh, my insurance does not cover little, um, arms and legs and limbs missing. <laughs> Just minor shit. It, it, it covers. All you gotta do is put this on her head. Jackie, you wanna come and assist on this? Cause I ain't losing fingers or toes today. What do I have? This is it. This is you it. Put, that put this on her. And um, you know, try to get it around the widest part. It's in front of her ears, but around her cheekbone. And once you do that, you just hit that button right. and let it snug up on her head. Come here, Lana. And just hold your finger on that one and then push that button. There you go. Yummy. 
front of her ears. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, perfect. she responds to her a little bit better. Is that good? That yeah. is perfect. It's a little, it's a, actually, it's probably a little bigger than that. It's probably a little it's bigger than that maybe? because, yeah, yeah. because uh, he was just a little bit behind her cheek. Oh, okay. But um, we'll roll with it. I'm good. Right now, it's at 21. But I'm good with 21 to, to 20. One and three quarters. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good with that. But I'm also good with having these things. <laughs> having these things left. Because I ain't trying to, I know she ain't going to take the whole arm off. But a pinky, she, she might, might take a pinky. She might want a piece she of might, that, man. She might. So this is the last thing. And you can do this too. Do it around, uh, right up under her arm. I'm a little curious to see what this one is. Yeah. yeah. She's a little chunky there. Yeah. A little chunkier than most. Watch it up here. Show, like, this up here. Right under his armpit. Yeah, there right you go. Right under her armpit. Yeah. Okay, girl. It's okay. I'm just hold that it's one okay. piece so when it tightens it's up. Okay. You stay. You stay. Hold on, mama. Stop. Oh, baby. Stop. It's okay. There we go. There right, we go. You did it. All right. There you go. I, I, that's why I ain't no judge. <laughs> that's exactly why. I, I okay, commend mama. the judges. Is that it's tight? Okay. That's tight. Stay. All right. Now just, there you go. Good girl. <laughs> 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 Where are we at? <laughs> Nine. Really? Nine <laughs> inches. Inch on on the a whole inch, man. Oh, Nine oh. inches on the bone is a carrot can. Is a get is a, a real <laughs> can of veggies on your ass. <laughs> this bitch pop out of goddamn spinach can. Yo, that's Gotta the bone. Imagine, that's the bone yeah. on this bitch. That's insane. Right up under the that's it, man. That's crazy. That is crazy, man. Well, nothing she can else. Move too. Huh? She can she move. Can well, move that's what I'm about to say. Nothing else left to do. We don't got the height. We don't got the head. We don't got the bone. But hold on, though. I didn't do this on Deja because I'm forgetting stuff because I'm just getting all excited. <laughs> but can you do the bully barrel for me real yep. quick? Spielberg's bully barrel right now. Let's see how wide she is. So we're going under her chest, uh, right under her armpits, and just around the bully barrel. And, I, and this is a this is totally not in the books. If y'all look it up, it'd be like that's some Spielberg bullshit. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we're we're finding it out. All right, so right under the armpit. Yeah, right here. Yup, that's the bully barrel right there. Yup, the bully barrel on this girl. There you go, nice and good. tight. Is it nice oh, and tight? Hold on, hold on. Nice and tight. There we go. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Good. Yup. 27 inches, man. <laughs> 27 inches. Okay. Larry was 31. Yeah, and he's a, this, yeah, he's a, and yeah, he's a, he's a grown ass man. He's a grown ass man. And this is like, yeah. this is like, you know, this she's is like, she's it. Months. Yeah, 14 yeah, she months. She just man. turned 14 months. Very, very beautiful. You know when she has a litter, man, she's just gonna go, and yeah, she, you know, yeah, she's yeah. probably gonna get bigger and stuff yeah. like that, man. Bully barrel on that girl, 27, man. That's Come what's up. Hey, Folks, hey, it's hey, time hey. to take it to the streets, man. TSC Live Yard Crashes, man. We're going through it all. We're trying to give y'all everything that y'all want to know, what y'all want to see. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. <laughs> Didn't go popping up. Mm -hmm. Getting better. Yourself in the face. I'm glad I got you. Here we go. We're going to go see ABKC champion on, Lonnie. Come on, Lonnie. Nope. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, yeah, we got a whole pile going. All right, yeah. great. Just make sure. Come on, girl. Woohoo! Stress it too. Woohoo! Come on, girl. Look at that. Come on, girl. That is a dog, son. That's a freaking mini monster. Yeah. yeah. That's a bear cub, man. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. That is a bear cub right there, man. Dude, I gotta ask you, man. As time goes on and you're seeing her, now you're at 14 months. Do you like, are you, are you, are you like, in awe are, you in any, are you concerned at all that this is not it? This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. She's still got more to go. She's still got more to go. Because she's so young, 14 months. Yeah. Taking pop she can pop She just yeah. continue to get well, a little bit more That's dirty. what I've been noticing, that her head and face is now stopping. Yeah. Oh, what are you talking now? Stop it. She's, uh, I can hear you. She's uh, really starting to go this way now. Yeah. But to be honest with you, she's always from the second she came out the box yeah. at the doctor's office. You know I, it. I, knew you know it. It. I had her. I had her in my hand. And I was like, dang. She was always. Yeah. Just oh my god. Just do me a favor. Get some more of this dog before we get her in because I'm gonna actually try to. Can I walk up? Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, walk up for the camera. Walk up for the camera, baby. Go ahead. Go that way with Come on. Go ahead. Oh, Come on, oh, Nana. Wow, and gentle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go. What well, you can't yeah. do is your dog. Cause, cause, and dog. Here we go. Cause, my dog. Come on. He's got a little fire in him. Mustang. Well, definitely has some fire in him, yeah, man. But uh, when you look that bad, you can have some attitude. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> when absolutely. you that bad of a bitch, you can have some attitude. That's why I think man. she gets away with it. Yeah. Right there. Thank you. Come on. Wow, man. Well, in the feet in the past, you know what? Yeah. A dog. Get down on that. Dogs, get down on those usually, feet real quick, man. Dogs, Let's get some tight feet shots real quick. Usually, man. dogs this this thick and massive, they don't they don't have. She's too uh, into what's going on. Yeah. Um, she's her leg. Stop. Yeah, she's uh, she she's just got great everything, man. I'm very happy with uh, with this dog. Couldn't ask for anything else. Yeah, yeah, man. Please get a side shot of this for the people. Please <laughs> get here, a baby. side shot. Come on, folks. If y'all are looking at it right now, please screenshot it and send it to your mother. <laughs> Let them know you found what you're spending your next stimulus check on. <laughs> Man, 1200 ain't gonna do it. No, I don't think so, but that could be a deposit for the deposit, right? That's a deposit for the deposit on the deposit. Oh, you gotta, you gotta so woo me. Reading wise, man. I got some plans for her. You got some plans for her? Yeah. Uh, I got some plans for her. Yeah. Yeah. I got they're, some they're, plans they're not. For her. Just whisper something to me so they can get my reaction. Let me just hear something. Y'all better go to church. I hope they can't read lips. I hope they can't read lips. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I gotta keep a secret. I really hope. They, I hope y'all can't Next read lips. Next thing you know, there'll be twenty other people yeah. doing the same shit. So I gotta hey. keep it. You know, well, once I do it, then you'll know what I'm doing. Yeah. And then, yeah. if you wanna follow, if you like what I did, yeah. if you wanna follow it, more power to you. Yeah. And I wish you the best. But I at least gotta do it first. That's what's up, man. And then, then you can do it. You gotta do it, man. You put in the work. You put in the time. You yeah. got something great, man. Listen, brother. All I can say is. <laughs> Yard Crash just came out, and, and, you know, every day is an exciting day for us in this community, man, but today was an exceptionally exciting day. Larry Hoover, Deja Vu, Stefan the Don, 401 Bully. Folks, I'm going to tell you this straight up, man. No bullshit. If y'all are hating, there's only a couple of reasons why. Get over it. Go to church. Find out what's going on. And the only reason why I say that is, seriously, is because Dog you started level. five years ago, man, yeah. and you just kept pushing, you kept doing it. Yeah. Yo, you ain't got no time for that shit. Yeah. Keep that shit moving, and, and, and you can be where you're trying to be, yeah. or yeah. where you're trying to go, and you can do all of that, you know what I'm saying? But just stick, it, stick to it. It doesn't, you know, it's not gonna be uh, as easy maybe as others, or maybe think it is easy. I don't even think it is easy at all. Nothing was easy. Nothing was easy, and uh, You went through a lot of trials I and tribulations. I went through a lot of trials. I almost walked away from the dog. Yeah. Because of certain situations. But, right. Uh, I think that would have just gave them what they wanted. Right. So I said, fuck that. I got, I got some shit, and I, I'm going to I'm gonna get them where I, I know it'll bother them more. Than me. Yeah. Because I'm going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is this, man. We're, we're here to build, man. We're here to build. But seriously, man, there's, uh, after seeing these, these, these dogs, New England, this is the first of the of many yard crashes. We started out... Uh, the next couple of ones are going to be even more exciting, man. But don't sleep on the New England area. Don't sleep at home. Don't sleep on the, the. Don't sleep on none of this area, bro. Because right here is three some of the best quality dogs that I've seen. And you're going from ABK Grand Champions to the future. And uh, so salute 401 Bullies, man. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. I hope you guys had a good time. Leads. Leads. That's right, we got man. Leads. We got leads. Yeah, where they at? Show where they Jack, they're in the house. Oh, she loves this them is in the one house. of them right here. All handmade. Got the leaves, man. Easy. You doing those handcrafts? Handcraft. Yep, she made some by hand. Handcraft. She does the braided ones yeah. too with the yeah, beads and everything. Ones, yep. and this is what we're going to do, man. We're going to do a little something quick after this and uh we'll be rocking what's the name of it this is it jack's leads what is it jack's leads jack's leads, jack's leads. <laughs> you got it you heard it first you heard it first jack's leads. right now jack's leads you heard it first you in the jack's building leads. Jack's, leads. jack's leads yeah no, messing with jock's, sasquatch jock's yeah leads. yeah jock's leads messing with sasquatch look at this guy trying to that's get a shameless plug over here shameless that's plug. a, that's a 
Don't let anybody talk about the puppy. He's just coming in with the dog and just rolling up in here. Anyway, 401 Bullies, man. We are out of here. Nick Angry Inc., come on, man. This is the squad, man. This is the squad. Jackie, get over here. If y'all don't want to know. This is right here, man. This is cousin family. He got him in. She, he got her this pregnant. This is the kettle right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kettle. This, this is, is the squad. This, this is the unit, man. Family first, man. 401 Bullies, FW Spielberg, TSC Yard Crashes. We did it New England edition. We kicked it off right, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you in a little bit. Peace. Heart been broke so many times. I don't know what to believe. Mama say it's my fault. It's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I put my heart on nice, heart on nice, cause I can't breathe. I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice, it's getting the best of me. While in the cell with Lil Joaquin, I thought I slapped him, I had told him, I don't know how you get down with them clowns, but I'm a soldier. No one could understand, I had way too much aggression that built over the years from my abandoned. What up, Bully World? It's your boy, F.W. Spielberg from TSC Yard Crashes. I don't want to give a big shout-out to our sponsors for the TSC Live Yard Crashes, New England Northeast Edition. I want to give a big shout-out to my dude, Danny Guerrero, representing that DBR and the 884 Stables. And also a big shout-out to my girl, Diamond Torch, from Nine Diamond Kennels and Diamond Torch Transporters. And last but not least, my guy, Danny Mr. Second to None Cervantes of Second to None Bullies and R.I.P. Double XL Bullies. We'll see everybody in the New England Northeast area Thursday the 27th all the way to Sunday the 30th August is gonna be lit we're going live in the Northeast New England area crashing some of the baddest yards seeing the baddest bulls and meeting some of the best breeders in the game make sure you follow the FW Spielberg page and go check out the TSC Connected group yard crashes going down Northeast New England we coming are y'all ready let's go